What is up, YouTube? Welcome to another Crib Zone excursion. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Someone asked, how can I convince my parents to buy me a dog? If you're trying to convince your parents, I would not recommend you asking them to buy you a big dog. This is not a starting dog. You want to start out with something small, something that's easy to take care of. Same goes with birds. There's levels of difficulty on owning an animal. My lizard, the leopard gecko, is the easiest lizard to take care of. You could go months without feeding them and they won't die. The Siberian Husky would be a difficult dog to take care of. You would probably want to start out with a dog such as the rat. The rat would be considered a beginner dog. Don't try to go overboard and ask for a Siberian Husky as your first dog. This dog is a lot of work. Once you have figured out what beginner dog you want, before asking your parents to buy you a dog, if you've never owned a turtle, if you've never owned a goldfish, it might be more difficult for your parents to accept the fact that you're ready for a dog. What you want to tell your parents to try to convince them <laughs> <laughs> Owning a dog can teach responsibilities such as scheduling. Since you do have to feed your dog, mention to your parents that you would like more responsibility in your hand. Watch Papa YGB here. He's not like, I'm working. <laughs> Look at the speed on this thing. Tell your parents that you have anxiety problems and that petting a dog, is that Mauser? Is that Mauser? <laughs> Another thing you could tell your parents, you could tell them that you're looking for exercise and a dog is a really good way to get outside. Mention that you want to be more active. Your parents will rather buy you a dog than an Xbox. So mention that you would like to exercise yourself. As you guys might know, we stopped the hunt for Crypto's baby mama. The loss of Cheese Piece completely ruined Crypto's life. He is now heartbroken. He hasn't had a heart on since he last saw her. Besides when he sees Ruger, we will be giving you guys a tour. No dogs allowed, but I did go to that school. Kind of broke the rules. I haven't been here in so long. I miss this school. Looks like got some after school snizzle. Shouts out all the Trojans. Best high school out there. That is awesome. This is art class. Shouts out all the swimmers. God boy, Crypto. Look at this, look at this. How anti-skating is this? Very anti-skating. There's a lot of ways you can try and convince your parents, but the main key, starting off at the lowest rank possible. You don't want to buy a huge ass Mastiff as your first dog. If worse thing comes, buy a rat. A rat dog is probably the easiest dog to take care of. Try to find one at your local barn. Right here, right here. Work your way up. It's the final crypto. I remember this one time. There was these little kids learning how to bike ride, and crypto's just running full speed down the sidewalk, and they literally fall into a bush right as I pass them. I feel bad because they fell in the bush. I felt so bad. I've been feeding this dog raw chicken paws. <laughs> Look at the smile on his face. You want a chicken paw? <coughs> Speak. <coughs> Sick. Come on. He's learned how to eat them. If you guys don't know, the best thing you can feed your dog is a raw diet. It's called a barf diet. It's said to improve their energy levels, decrease the number of visits to the vet. I still have not converted to the barf diet. I just started feeding raw chicken paws.
If you guys remember on the first video I posted about him eating the chicken paw, he didn't really eat it, but now he just devours them. He loves them. You can't cook the meat. Cooked meat is not good for your dog. It takes away all the calcium and all the vitamins. Don't feed your dog cooked meat. That's really bad for them. Now the barf diet is really complicated. You have to feed them a percentage of their body weight. If I do ever transfer to the barf diet, I will be making a, a video explaining everything. Now there isn't really a lot of videos on YouTube explaining it and giving the cost. That's what I'm really concerned about. How much will the barf diet cost? Everything does differ from the meat shop to what you feed your dog. <laughs> What's up? Did you like your chicken feet? Nismo. This is Nismo, my cockatiel. He was hand fed, so he's really friendly. Well, he was friendly. He's turning into a savage now. <laughs> These type of birds, the cockatiel is known for whistling and mimicking whistles. This dude knows the if you're happy and you know it song as well as the wolf whistle if you guys don't know what the wolf whistle is all it is is if you see a hot chick you do the wolf whistle he does know a couple tricks he knows how to wave he knows how to spin this bird's a beast one problem i do find with the cockatiel is that they like to scream for attention same goes with dogs if your dog is screaming for attention the best thing you could do is just ignore that don't pay attention to them barking if you pay attention to them barking you're literally giving them what they want which is attention huh crypto huh crypto high five you want to make a video <laughs> want to make a video crypto <laughs> look at him cheesing from side to side sit Good boy. High five. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Judgment day is upon us. We have all three of my dogs. This couldn't be any worse. The rat always wants to go wherever he wants. What are they all smelling? The rat's getting a head start. I like it. The real craziness will begin as soon as we hit the park. If you guys saw the rat's nails on my previous video, this should help trim them down a bit. Those nails are redonkulous. They said it shouldn't be done. I brought all three of my dogs. Who knows if mayhem will erupt. I actually got myself into a rap battle. Look forward to that video coming soon. Go. <laughs> Looks like the rat took the lead. The rat is pretty far behind. There he is. There he goes barking at people. <laughs> the rat's at a point where he's starting to walk sideways. Is that bird man? You better pay a little weight. Let's go, we're continuing our journey. People are starting to think I'm a dog walker. That would be really cool, just walking dogs. <laughs> Almost ate shit. One of Crypto's steps is probably like five of the rats with all fours, making it 20. I'm not good at math. No babies. The rat was about to bark. Oh boy, that rat. <laughs> oh, the rat is running faster than Milo. Milo is so fat, out of shape. It's kind of sad. Slow down, slow down. At this point, Milo is pretty dead. The rat just has no stopping him. We made it to our ghetto lake. That's going to go ahead and wrap up this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Peace. Get up. This way, the red. <laughs> go, Milo. The red hit the V-Tank. Wait, the red, the red. Hey. <laughs>